After the massive success of Joker starring Joaquin Phoenix, it is no surprise that WB and DC wanted to make a sequel. What is a surprise is that Phoenix has signed on for the sequel, something the actor has never done in his career until now. So I think that's a great sign that this film could be something truly special. Looking at the title of the film, which is Joker, Folie à deux, translated from French to English, Folie à deux means madness of two. It is most often used to refer to a delusion or mental illness shared by two people who are usually in close association. And I think I'm in the same boat as the majority of you guys where I want that to mean there's another Joker out there. But could we end up finding out Joaquin Phoenix's Joker is the fake? Could they end up introducing a third Joker as well? It would be a nice little nod to Jeff John's three Joker storyline too. But who could play the other Joker? It's really not even a question, man. It's gotta be William Dafoe. Dafoe actually said in an interview he fantasizes about playing a fake Joker in the movie. He said in the interview he hasn't talked to anyone about it, aside from the person interviewing him at the time. But maybe Todd Phillips or Joaquin or maybe even DC Comics heard him say that and actually called Dafoe up and asked if he would be interested. This idea of Joker vs Joker easily sets up another massive box office for WB and DC. I don't see it not making another billion again, especially if someone like Defoe is the other Joker. But maybe they're not talking about another Joker. Who else could it be? Possibly, we see him talking to a psychiatrist in Arkham, and it's none other than Harleen Quinzel, and we watch her descent into the madness. It could be a lot of fun, or really depressing, depending on who you are. I don't think Margot Robbie's Harley shows up in this. I mean, you never know, but the tone is quite different than the DC films her Harley has appeared in. And this film is separate from the rest of the DC Universe films. But let's be real, what is even canon at this point? Anyways, who else could play Harley in this Joker film? I've seen Lady Gaga's name mentioned as a possibility for Harley Quinn. And honestly, for this type of film, I don't hate it. I think she actually makes a good pairing, at least visually, for Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. They could end up going with someone entirely different, which is fine too. I don't see us getting a more whimsical Harley ache into the animated series, but time will tell. But who else could it be talking about in the title? Maybe, and hear me out on this, the title could be referring to Batman. Crazy, I know. Depending on who you ask, Batman is a bit of a madman and probably needs help himself. While it probably isn't Batman, I wouldn't necessarily completely count it out. If the movie takes place 10 years or so later, we could end up seeing a younger Batman go up against this Joker. Although this is more of a stretch than the other two, Bruce Wayne was around 8 to 10 years old in the first Joker film, and Joaquin's Joker is around 45. Bit of an age gap, but it could still be fun. They could do a big twist in this film and end up having this Batman kill the Joker since this is its own canon. That would be quite a twist, wouldn't it? I quite enjoyed the first Joker film. I will say I have probably only watched it about twice as it's not something I just kick back and watch or put on in the background like other DC movies, but it is probably one of the most well-crafted DC films that's been put out in recent times. I eagerly await the next film and hope it delivers something truly unique and special like the first one. Well, that's it. That's all I got today, guys. I'm out. Peace, y'all.